Unit 5. Grammar 1. Future forms Future forms are different ways to talk about things that will happen in the future. Is it going to be complicated and difficult? I don't think so. Inshallah, keep watching and you will find this grammar very easy. As most of these are just revisions, things that we have already taken before. But just like always, we're going one step further into these things. I'm going to watch a match at the stadium tonight. Now, when is he going to watch the match? It's going to happen later, tonight, in the future. We used the verb be, am, is, or are, plus going to, and then the verb watch. When do we do that? We do that with plans, arrangements for the future. When did he decide to watch the match? Just now? No, he must have decided a while ago. Maybe last night, maybe a week ago, maybe a month ago. So it's a plan for the future. Okay, next. You're going to need some money. I know you have none. I know you don't have any money. We used be going to. This time, it's not a future plan. It is a prediction based on evidence. This man knows that this man has no money. So, he used be going to. You're going to need. The verb is need. Predictions based on evidence. He knows that he doesn't have money. I'm watching a match at the stadium tonight. Again, future. This time we used present progressive. We don't usually use present progressive for future unless we're talking about, again, future plans. The same as this. So you have a choice of using I am watching a match or you can use I am going to watch a match. This is correct and this is correct. You can use either. I think it will rain tonight. Use future will for predictions. Predictions, just like here, but this time you don't have an evidence. You don't really know, so use perhaps, think, believe, expect. You say, I think it will rain. I believe it will rain, I expect it will rain, or you can say, perhaps it will rain. All of them give the same meaning. I'll take an umbrella with me. This is a decision, right? This is a plan. But when did he make this plan or decision? Just now. He did it on the spot. He didn't really think about it a long time. Not yesterday, not uh, the day before. He made an on-the-spot decision. Just now, he decided to take an umbrella in case it rained. Will you take me to the airport after the match? This man is asking for a favor, right? It's a request. Please take me to the airport. Will you take me? Use it for offers and requests. I won't ask anything from you again. Please take me. I won't ask you is a warning. Do it and I will not ask anything from you. I will not. Use it for threats and warnings. I won't speak to you again. I will not speak to you again. This is a threat or a warning. I'll take you to the airport after the match. This is a promise. I give you my word. I'll take you to the airport after the match. A promise. Sister, we're going to eat the cake now. Come and join us. Be going to. This is what? This is a future plan. When did they decide to eat the cake? 
maybe a while ago or a long time ago, but it wasn't on the spot decision. I'll eat the cake after I finish my homework. Now, when did she decide this? Just now. It's a spontaneous decision. Come on, I think you'll be happy when you see it. Think. This is a prediction. I think you will be happy. I believe. Perhaps you will be happy when you see it. It's a prediction, not based on evidence. For the next hour, I'll be writing a paragraph for the English teacher. Now, this is going to happen in the future and we have the time. This will continue happening. I will keep writing, writing, writing for the next hour. Now, this is what we call future progressive. Actions that will continue happening at a specific time for the next hour. The time must be mentioned. Notice that we write will, use be, don't use am, is, and are, I will am, no, I will be, and add ing to the verb, I'll be eating my food in the next hour. I'll be watching a YouTube video tomorrow morning, okay? We'll have eaten the whole cake by the time you finish your homework. Now, we have two actions here. One, eat the cake. Two, finish the homework. This will finish first. We give it future perfect simple. Use have and use the past participle of the verb. It will finish first. We will have eaten the whole cake. After you finish your homework, you will find no more cake because we'll have eaten the whole cake. Okay, actions that will be completed, finished, before a specific time, or before another action in the future. Look at the verb finish here. We're using present simple. You give the future perfect simple to the action that will finish first, and then you give present simple to the action that will finish after. By the time you finish your paragraph, you'll have been studying for three long hours. Now, this is what we call future perfect progressive. The duration is important. This duration will happen one hour from now, after you finish writing your paragraph. Use will have been and add ing to the verb when does the plane take off the plane takes off at seven now is this future yeah, we know that the plane will take off in the future. They are waiting at the airport. Then why are they using present simple? Using does, using s with the verb, the plane takes off. Shouldn't we say the plane will take off? Shouldn't we say that? Well, the difference here is that this is a schedule. This is a timetable, a program. The plane every day probably takes off at 7. Every day. So it's a schedule that the plane follows every day. This is why we use present simple. We use present simple for things that happen in general. That happen always or usually. They follow a schedule. We are just about to leave the country. What does that mean? It means it will not be long before we get on board of that plane. Use the verb be. Just is not important. You can say, we're about, we're about to leave the country. Just means it's very soon. Very, very soon. You can use it with just or without. Actions that will happen very soon. And we finished future forms. Now tell me, is it easy like I said? It is, right? Now two, 
time clauses. As soon as I get on that plane, I'll take a nap. This is one sentence, right? But we have two parts. Each part is called a clause. As soon as I get on that plane is what we call the time clause. This is the time. When are you going to take the nap? I'll get it the minute I get on that plane. I'll take a nap is what we call the main clause. We're using future will here because it will happen in the future. With the time clause, use present simple always. The main clause, use future will. It is also correct to say, I will take a nap, use future will first, and then use the time clause. I will take a nap as soon as I get on that plane. The meaning is the same, both are correct. If you start with the main clause, put this first, you don't need this, you don't need a comma. If you start with the time clause, then you need a comma. And here are different time clauses that you can use. You can use as soon as, when, after, before, until, by the time, as, and while. And remember, with all of them, use the verb in the present simple. Now we are ready for practice. Read the dialogues and circle the correct words. Where are you going? Do you go on holiday next summer? Well, we're talking about a future plan. Future plan. Use be going to. I'll probably go or I'm about to go to Cyprus. Which one is correct? We're talking about next summer. So it's not going to happen soon. You don't use about. I will probably go. Will you move or do you move how soon? We don't use present simple. It's not a schedule. Yes, I move. Yes, I will move. I will move. As soon as every time with time clauses, use present simple. By one o'clock, I will drive or will have been driving for four hours. Four hours is the duration. The amount of time I will have been driving at one o'clock use future perfect progressive. You should have a break. Let's stop at a restaurant and have some lunch. This time tomorrow, oh, tomorrow, this time, we have a specific time in the future. Use future progressive. We'll be flying to Paris. Yes, I know, it's so exciting. Will you have traveled or will you be traveling around Europe next month? We have a specific time. Next month, use progressive. Will you be traveling? No, I'm not leaving. I won't have been leaving until the end of June. This is a future plan. Use present progressive. In another hour or so, it will have been raining or it will rain non-stop for four hours. Again, you have a duration here. Duration. Use this. Yes, I know. I hope it will have stopped or will stop soon. This is a prediction. Prediction used perhaps or think. We have hope here. Hope is just like think. I hope, I think, I believe. I am going to run or I will have run in the New York City Marathon next month. This is a plan. Use am going to run. That's great. I think I'll buy. Think. Prediction. Use this. Without even completing the sentence, I know that it's I'll buy because of think. Whatever. Just make up your mind try to decide soon our plane is about to take off or won't take off you need to hurry up and decide because the plane is about to leave it will leave very soon thank you for watching this video if you like it please share it with friends i will see you again next time inshallah goodbye